so freaking pretty. Okay, like, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hi guys, so welcome to my YouTube video. So this time I'm with a friend of mine. Introduce yourself. Yeah, as you can see, I'm German. <laughs> he is That's really German. Originally I'm from Hamburg. I don't know if you guys know the city. Best city in Germany. The best city. Forget Berlin. What? Forget Munich. Bullshit. It's Bullshit. <laughs> Just Hamburg. I'm a student. I study law since 2016 in Greifswald, it's a small city in the east of Germany at the Baltic Sea, at the coast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quiet, but the university is quite popular. The city is also like a student city, right? Yeah. It's really oh, full completely. with students. Okay, so now, in today's video, we're going to talk about the German stereotype. Oh. So in this video, I'm going to, like, I've listed some of the German stereotypes and I'm going to read it and he's going to say whether it's right or whether it's wrong. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stop. Lass uns anfangen. Is that right? Auf geht's. The first one. People say that the German language is harsh and aggressive. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Ich nicht. Ich nicht. Well, that one is 100%. That says a lot. But you know what? Like before I learned German, I have that stereotype that the German language, whenever someone says "Auf Deutsch," is gonna be like sound like they're mad. I, it's just like the sound of it, I guess. Of like course. If you understand it, it's not aggressive at all, but it sounds aggressive. Yeah. I think it's also because Germans don't have like small talk, and the melody is really it's flat. It always sounds and their like phrase, orders, it sounds yeah. I know, and their face is like very serious. But you know what? When I met him, he's not like a German. <laughs> He's a fake German. He's a fake, fake German. German. Okay, can you just say something of Deutsch? Good morning. Ich melde mich zum Dienst. Ähm, ich erwarte Einsatzbereitschaft, <laughs> Disziplin <laughs> und Begeisterungswille. Wir starten ab sofort jetzt. Acht Stunden arbeiten und wir sehen uns heute Abend. Tschüss. Hallo. <laughs> it's true. German sounds harsh, but we're not always angry, so exactly. sometimes. Sometimes. The second stereotype is the Germans love beers and rules. Well, that one's 100 percent true. He wore this. Yes. Well, we love beer and we love order, like rules and uh, order. I then. think so. In German, like in Germany, I think rules are really important, especially the order because. People like to have a structure. They like oh, to know yeah, yeah, what you're gonna do, like kind of a way to structure your life to make mm -hmm. it easier. An example for order in Germany. Mm -hmm. For example, timetables, like the time schedule. Tables. Like everything has like schedules. Oh, exactly. Tables. Yes. Exactly. You know what's different? The first thing that I notice for the public transportation. They're so so on time, guys. Like if it says that the bus is going to leave at 11:13, then it is really going to leave at 11:13. Yeah. Sometimes the German trains are not mm -hmm. on time. Maybe just like five or ten minutes, but all the Germans hate the train what? because of it. Because Germans are punctual. Wow. But that's like another thing of the order. I think it's all like this, like the lifestyle mm -hmm. of structuring things. If you say be there at eight, mm -hmm. a typical normal German would be there like five or ten minutes earlier, just to make sure if he misses like the metro or the bus, oh. that he still is able to to yeah. get there on time, right? Exactly, because sometimes so, yeah. like the train or the metro, sometimes they're also late, right? Yeah, it could be, could happen. Like, oh, how does no it? way, it happens Ausfallen. all the time. Ausfallen. Yeah, also fun. If you live in Germany, everything has to be on time. For example, if your class starts at mm. eight. Everyone expects you there to be at eight. And oh. If you come late, like five or ten minutes late, everyone like we will look at you in a weird way oh, or say like exactly. why you late. Yeah, yeah exactly. Things. And I have to say, like personally, I'm not like I'm not a person who who is really organized or punctual. I'm like I'm. You know that I'm like I'm worse. I'm always late. And for example, my parents, my mm -hmm. grandparents, my family, they're always on time. They're, they take oh, it seriously. Yes, okay. they always. They get mad with me when I'm when I'm late. Even for dinner, for example. Oh, when really? I used to be a kid, I used to be late for dinner. They were like, "Don't be late." We said 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Oh, 6 how does it sound in German? Yeah. Kommst du mal zu spät? In my case, that's not true. A stereotype. I'm not punctual. Look at me. Now. Yeah, I'm still German. So. The next stereotype is that the Germans are always direct. I think direct could be true. I think Germans want to get to the point. Like if oh, they like, yeah. they're not. For example, if you write an email in Germany, you just write the question. You don't write like 
How how are you doing? How's your day so far? They don't want. They don't like small talk. I mean, like no, uh, they hate it. They hate it. Oh, so they just yes. want straight to the point. Yeah, in Germany, we want to go straight to the point. Well, I like to have a small talk mm -hmm. and have a chat, but I know many Germans who are kind of reserved. They just answer like yes, no. Oh my god, that's, that's my true. problem whenever yeah, I talk to Germans. That's weird. So don't be irritated. Yeah. It could happen. It doesn't like sometimes they're nervous or they don't know you. Yeah, so they just so. like they answer what and they don't ask? smile. So yeah, don't be irritated. It's it's not. From my perspective, like German people, is like we have to approach them first. That's kind of difficult. I yeah. think that's true. 100%. Somehow they're cold. It's not easy for them to open up themselves to someone. Yes. They, they but just here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Wait. they open up, it means you really are friends with them. Oh. And you can trust them. It's like in other cultures. I think it's more like they're welcoming and like being really open to you but becoming a good friend of them is hard like they are like soft from the outside but hard from the inside but in Germany it's like the other way around it's like it's a little hard outside but uh -huh. inside it's soft and nice yeah <laughs> if you get to know a German I think they're really nice really helpful yeah I think so the next stereotype is the German eat sausage every day man that one is definitely not true Definitely well, not true. you know like your favorite food from Germany mm -hmm. is like sausage, like sausage. a bratwurst. You eat it like oh, a, a bread with ketchup or, or oh. mustard, mm -hmm. that's really famous. Or from Berlin, really famous as well, the, the currywurst. Really? That sausage is like, it's really popular, all over Germany it's popular, right? especially in the south, like in Bavaria. They mm -hmm. eat like a special sausages, like the white ones. However, I don't eat sausage every day. Like, Every two days. I'm not kidding. If there's a special occasion, because it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Eat healthy, please. He Pizza just over sausage. Ate, guys. Yeah. Indonesian food. It's Indonesian delicious. food. I Drops just... you guys. It's, it's, like, it's amazing. Wait, what did you just bami eat? Bami goreng. No, no. no. How's, how's it called? There's two different ones. The first one is bakmi. 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 And the bami. second one, nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. What's the difference? Bakmi is noodles. Yeah, and that one is rice. This one is rice, so rice ah, okay. is nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. I love it, I love nasi goreng. I love it. Yes, I eat it all the time. They okay, want to end the video. Yeah, just do it. Do like an outro. You do the I outro. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a pleasure for me. It's funny. Although, I hope not all the stereotypes are true. It's embarrassing, exactly. but I hope you enjoyed it. Yay. And I hope you come visit Germany. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on the notifications. Cheers! Cheers. Wait, I think uh, I have I've asked about this one, right? The Germans never laugh in their first years. I, I already talked about it, right? Wait, no. you're very serious. serious.